My name is uh, Sergeant Tyler Wright Correa, and I'm an EOD technician. So the main mission of the Marine Corps is to mitigate explosive hazards, preservation of life and property, first and foremost, um, and just the reduction of explosive hazards. Uh, we are at the Guardian Centers in Perry, Georgia. We pretty much came out here um, to conduct some training and readiness events that are required to do every year. Um, coming out here is allowing us to hit a lot of those CNR events at once. We're very busy. Uh, we have guys in and out of the door all the time. Um, so being able to come together as a section and conduct all these events at once for the, for the week is really beneficial. Uh, the third part is definitely being able to work uh, as a team as we do. Um, we are able to kind of really mesh together and run these scenarios properly and work within our teams to build that, that trust between each other. Master Sergeant Brett Bailey, I am a EOD Tech and the EOD Chief for Delta Section. The main point is that it just makes a, a big difference logistically. When we're, when we're training on Lejeune, it's the same facilities we see every day. These guys go through the same mount facilities, they go to the same training ranges and they conduct the same thing week in and week out. Coming out here allows us to pack everything up, go to an off-site facility. If you didn't bring anything, it's on you. Out here, we basically did everything at a 4,000 level um, and conducted evaluation. So that included anything from sensitive site exploitation to CDRN to uh, conventional ordnance operations, IEDs, and breaching. Um, anything that we're capable of being evaluated on to show the Marine Corps that we are capable of accomplishing our mission. Seven, seven, nine, or eight. 